Hello, my name is Alicia Curtis and I'm the chair of the Young BPW Board in Australia. Here's my interview with Frida. Enjoy. My name is Frida Mariculis and I'm currently the BPW International Executive Secretary. I first got involved with BPW probably in 1995 when I first attended my, my first BPW meeting and soon after became involved with the Young BPW program and it was really through that that got me motivated and inspired to really want to go on to serve on the, on the various executive levels. So for me when I started I soon became the Young BPW in my club, of uh, BPW Mid-City, and soon after that went on to our competition, which was obviously at the state level, and became the Young BPW for Victoria, and then of course on to Australia. And I served on the executive board um, for BPW Australia in 19, oh, I think it might have been 98 to 2000, and I attended my first international congress in Vancouver, Canada as the elected delegate and uh, oh, I think it might have been an alternate delegate but as the elected young BPW representative and it was a fantastic way to see an international congress in full parliamentary procedure and to actually participate in all the business sessions and to really get to understand the workings of BPW and what sort of a fabulous organisation it really is. Yeah, Alicia, I think it is. You know, it's only until you really understand what BPW is all about that you really start getting passionate to serve for the aims and the objectives of the organisation. And there is a common cause there and we can all participate in any level, whatever that, whatever that might be. And whether it means that you can start at, at a grassroots level, like at the club level, you can really make a difference in terms of the influence that you have in your community, in your club level, and then how that basically espouses itself, how, how, that, gets, how that gets out and grows. And I think that's what's so wonderful about the uh, Keys to Achievement program. You know, it really challenges us to really constantly want to be doing better, not only for ourselves, but in doing better, we, we actually um, are able to, uh, to see those benefits for the club and for the community. So we're benefiting all women everywhere. I would have to say um, that it was attending Vancouver. You know, I've been to subsequent international congresses. From then I went to um, international congress in Melbourne and Lucerne. Um, it was in Lucerne that I became an elected member to serve on this current international executive. But I have to say that for me, the attending the Congress at, uh, at Vancouver was a real eye-opener and it made me aware of the sort of possibilities of what we can do, how we can contribute. And it brought home to me the realisation that as working women in the Western world, we have got a choice and we've got a choice to step up and to do something in, in, in something that we believe, you know, that we believe in. And if you believe, then you can achieve just about anything that you put your mind to. And I, I, and I think I think I'm a product of that, you know, that if you really want to climb up within the organisation, there will be people along the way to actually help you and support you. And that's what's so wonderful about BPW, and that's why BPW is important to young professional women. Ah, uh, look, Alicia, that's a great question. You know, at international level, we realise just what the potential we have as individuals is really all about. When you can influence things at club levels, you get a real buzz out of that, you feel really good. And it's the same at state, you know, at state level or, or at federation. Yes, we do work for things like CEDAW or nationally we work um, on, on, on influencing policy, whether it be equal work, equal pay or, or on our national programs like security for women. That's great in itself. But I guess when you go to that international level, it's just, it's, it's another rung up but it exposes you to lots of different cultures, lots of different languages, lots of different, different and fabulous women. And it just gives you the feeling that anything is really possible, you know, and it's, it's like the sky is the limit. So for me, I first joined international or at that international level while I was in Vancouver. I said, how do I get involved? So I put the hand up and nominated myself for the Business and Trade um, and Technology Committee. And I basically got involved as a member of um, of a standing committee and uh, basically tried to contribute that way but more so 
For me, it was really um, about learning the workings of the organisation and trying to understand, okay, well, standing committees are one part of the board of directors at the international level, so let me understand what the work of a committee is actually involved and engaged with. And I wanted to make a contribution there, uh, given my background with, uh, with finance. So uh, that kind of got me that inkling. And through that, I just met some fabulous contacts from all around the world. And, you know, that's that, that's that another layer, if you like. I mean, Australia, when you join uh, BPW at the club level, state, international, uh, and, and at national level, we have that nurturing, we have that support from all of our members, and there are some fabulous little crystal gems in the organisation that will support us and nurture us, and that's, the, that's a fabulous thing in itself. But it's only at the Australia level when you go to international, it's another dimension again, and it just opens up incredible possibilities, um, taking on the point that I made earlier. And for me, what that's meant is that, um, you know, I, I eventually got the confidence that I needed to then be able to put myself forward for the executive secretary role. And it wasn't a case of me, you know, I, I really did sort of have second thoughts, I've got to say, you know, I thought, well, could I do it? You know, gosh, how, golly, me, you know. But when I was asked to do so, I at least came prepared, having understood a little bit about the organisation at international level. And that's what gave me the opportunity. And you know, opportunities, they come and they go. And if you're in it, you know, they come through the door and out the window. And it's, it's when that opportunity comes that you've really got to be prepared. So for me, having served on the Business and Trade Committee, it gave me that possibility of, yeah, maybe, maybe I, I, I could really take this on. Maybe I could serve on the executive board of the International Federation. And um, for me, it's been an incredibly, incredibly um, a humbling experience to have been exposed to some wonderful women and um, really the, the sort of encouragement and the lifelong friendships that I've made at that international level for me have really shown me what is possible when you really work at this organisation and that is available for each and every one of us and Young BPW is a great way to start, you know, is, is to start through um, the organisation and that program just sets you up beautifully. So everything is within our, within our, within our, um, well it's within our reach basically and whatever we want to achieve. Hey, you know what, I really want to give you a sense of enthusiasm and encouragement and I want to be able to offer you some support as well that if you really believe in something really passionately about that you just go for it put the hand up and even if you don't know what to do it's okay because what you're going to find is that people will come from out of the woodworks and they will be there to support you when they see a leader in you and that's the first step, putting your hand up and saying, hey, here I am, I can lead that committee, I can take on that executive role. They will respect you for it. You'll earn their respect, but more importantly, you'll earn their friendship. And, um, you know, that's, that's one of the most rewarding experiences throughout the whole BPW experience for me. So for young BPWs, get out there. The world is within your reach and the world really is your oyster. And I look forward to hearing about your stories as well in time to come. Um, and, uh, and if I can support you in any capacity, I'm more than happy to do so. And thanks for the opportunity, Alicia.